Y- yeah, uh, go from uh, something good right into a war. That was a scary, scary time for me. Well, I'm I'm still a little bit bitter about the uh, uh, all the people we lost. We never even talked about it. We just didn't. We didn't bring it up. There are few veterans alive today from World War II that are with us to tell their story. And World War II veteran Thomas Kittle is now sharing his. I think probably the worst night we had was uh, we were moving at night in a convoy, and uh, they have the 88s. All of a sudden, they are shelling those. We think it's a blessing because we think they run out of ammunition because they stop shooting. We had 14 people hit on our truck. When these war heroes are no longer around, it'll be up to us to preserve that history. We want to be a tool for the community. We want all ages, all generations to come here to learn more, to be able to honor all of our veterans for all of their service is really important to who we are. As you're watching the school groups, you'll see those one or two students that their eyes just spark, and you know that we got them. The Yankee Air Museum in Belleville, Michigan is full of history from World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War. They rely heavily on donations and volunteers as they keep building and expanding. Every time they figure out one challenge, there are two more pop up and they're, they're forced with another challenge. NECA and the IBEW in the last three years have given about $50,000 to the Air Museum. We d- donate and fund a lot of the wages for the workers that are out here. We are part of the community. Uh, our members live out here, and day to day, these are families. Somebody's always six degrees of separation connected. Our company was founded right here in Ypsilanti, Michigan, in 1920. That makes us 100 years old next year. We have a long-standing theory of giving back to the community. The other part of the museum is Hangar 1. You can take an actual ride into history on one of these five war aircrafts. NECA IBW journeyman Jeff Skies says he's proud to have worked in the hangar and to help honor these veterans. I feel proud that I worked on it, but I think I feel more proud of the people that worked on it in the past, you know, the people that, that, that got us here. I mean, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them, you know, so I'm putting up some temporary to feed the old hangar over there, the actual bomber plant, and put a few panels in there, apply power, got to see the old doors work, made those work, which is pretty neat. I ran a new primary feed, set a transformer, put new switch gear in the building. Uh, I put temporary lightings that was generously donated. We celebrated all all night, you know, well, we, we come rolling in. Uh, they were throwing lilacs on us, uh, you know, and, and the trucks, and we didn't sleep that night. When Tom came home from the war, he found his next calling, being an electrician in the IBEW. And that's where he stayed for 40 years until retirement. I thought it was... Uh, real good uh, uh, trade to be in. I was very happy to be uh, an apprentice electrician. We have a lot of veteran members from all different generations and we're very, very happy to be able to get a career path for our veterans to to come home and work with IBW and ECO. We're very thankful for the NECA IBEW team for all their help that they are doing and we do hope that they keep helping us because this is such a treasure for our community. Yeah, I hope they don't forget us, you know, and just they know it happened. For Electric TV in Belleville, Michigan, I'm Erica McClarity.